So what are fillers? Where do we use them? Why do we use them? And why do people love them so much? Fillers can be made out of uh, hyaluronic acid, which is most people know Restylane, Voluma, Velour, Versa, multiple products out on the market that are traditional hyaluronic acid fillers. Then you also have your biostimulators, which is your Radius, your Sculptra, and these are products that actually stimulate your body's own collagen. The reason we use fillers is I like to tell my patients it is for strategic volume replacement. So as we age, we are losing Losing volume in our face. We have over 20 different fat pads all throughout our face and as we age and we're losing that volume it's adding to things falling and so a lot of times we use it in the cheeks to help lift up that malar fat pad, tear troughs, um, chin, I mean fillers we use anywhere and everywhere um, off label as well as on label. Um, which fillers last the longest? Um, Biostimulators obviously last the longest versus traditional hyaluronic acid fillers. Um, but out of the traditional hyaluronic acid fillers, it depends on where you're placing them. So when you're placing them in areas that you move a lot, say around your mouth, so your lips, the lines around your mouth, your folds, um, those are going to wear off a lot faster. You'll get maybe six to eight, nine months out of those fillers. Fillers that kind of, um, are in areas that you don't move very much, your cheeks, your jaw lines, your chin, your temples. Those areas, uh, fillers can last about a good nine months to a year, if not longer, out of these, out of these procedures. Um, where, which products do we use? That all depends on your age, your volume loss, the area that we are treating. A lot of these hyaluronic acid fillers are made with what they call chain link technology. So they are produced to be able to move with your face as you're making the expressions. There's other fillers that are meant strictly for volume. And so in places like your cheeks where you need a lot of volume to kind of hold these things up, we want something that is more robust, that is um, kind of can do your more heavy lifting. So normally we choose the product based on our patients and the volume loss that we are experiencing um, but there's a lot of fillers out on the market and we are happy to educate you on whichever ones you're interested in and give you a nice natural beautiful volumized look <laughs>